Well, the Bahia Blanca mission is kind of the final frontier for Argentina as far as like the north goes to the south. Um, Argentina is a really big country. If you stretch it out, I mean, top to bottom, it's probably the difference between New York and Los Angeles, like the whole length of our country. Um, it's definitely not as wide or as big. And there's only about 48 million people. It's our 325 in the United States. But um, the Bahia Blanca mission itself is probably about the size of Texas. It's fairly big. Um, most of that, uh, or a good portion of that, is in a province called La Pampa, which is not, I, you can't say uninhabited because there are people there and farms and all kinds of things going on, but the church hasn't reached the farthest western end of the mission. Um, there are, I think, branches, but they even belong to um, bigger districts that are in the Mendoza mission or the Neuquén mission. There's a, a little one called Capriel on the very border, but they, I mean, they, it's, it's on the border of the Pampa and a, a province called Rio Negro, but the, the saints gather there on the Rio Negro side so that they can, they can be uh, closer to a, a mission president in, in Neuquén rather than very far away in, in Bahia Blanca. Um, there are actually some stakes. There are two in Bahia Blanca. There's one in La Pampa and Santa Rosa. They are making one in between two cities called Olvarria and Tandil that are in the in the center of the province of Buenos Aires. Um, oh, I, I should mention there are three provinces in the mission, pieces of three provinces in all of the Pampa. So there's pieces of uh, Provincia de Buenos Aires, probably the more, most of the province, it belongs to the Bahia Blanca mission. And then a tiny bit of Rio Negro in a place called Viedma. Um, but... There are two stakes in Bahia Blanca. There are, there's one in La Pampa, like I said. There's two. There's one in the middle of Buenos Aires that has two big cities called Olivaria and Tandil. And then over on the eastern coast, um, probably the most famous, iconic part of the mission as far as the world is concerned, is a city called Mar del Plata, which is um, kind of the vacation spot of Argentina as far as beaches go. Um, it's a city of a little more than a million people. And it has two stakes. It was pushing for three, and they're kind of uh, in between doing it. It's got a lot of uh, interesting challenges. Um, I, I always served there for about for about six months. But, um, yeah. So, I mean, if the mission ever does divide, it'll probably divide between Bahia Blanca and, and Mar del Plata. Um, of course, there would, there would need to be a few more stakes for that to happen. Um, they talked a lot about what we need to do. As, as soon as I got there, my, my first mission president would talk to us about what would need to happen for there to be a temple. And he would project it into, like, the, like into 10 years. And he said, but if we have an attitude of, of we can have a temple in five years, then we can have one in 10 years. Um, if we have an attitude of we're going to have a temple in 15 years, then it'll be a few decades before we ever have a temple. And um, that that vision is very important to have in, Argent in Argentina. The church is fairly new. I mean, there's only two temples in the country. Um, but there are four million potential candidates for exaltation in the Viola Commission. And enough of those uh, working towards that with their covenants and everything, if they were to be baptized and, and the men were to be righteous priesthood holders and full tithe payers, then they would be considered for a temple, especially, I mean, by Blanca, like I said, its geographic position is advantageous for having a temple for the southern, for the southern, uh, um, southern most inhabitants of Argentina, and also for ones that live right around there, there are quite a few. Um, there were just, you know, need to be enough if you're going to build a temple and you have to be ready for it. But uh, that's, uh, that's kind of how the work is going right now. Um, my first mission president uh, actually finished his mission a year into my mission, and the, the mission president that I had for the second half of my mission, uh, Manuel Parreño, is still there. Um, he's from Spain, and he um, came his wife, and I think a year from now, or maybe a little bit less, I believe it's in June, is when I got there, three years ago. So I've been back for a while now, but yeah. <laughs>